welcome back, everyone, to Now Is at Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shadowfury, whichever you prefer. I'm never interested in that. But whatever, that's the for now. And we have Arcane Delicious I'm Not Null on one list. Another I'm Not Null request. They were actually quite eager to have this on here. They emailed me as well as did a DM in 0K. So, for reference, the easiest way to get in touch with me to actually get requests in is to either Discord DM, which I don't know if you can easily through Zero K stuff, or Twitter DM. That seems to work well. There was one I got over Twitter, but I got that no problem. Oh, my bad. Thank you. Forgot about the music, so yeah. Eh, that might not be in the YouTube one. I might just take that out of the YouTube one. Anyway, so we have I Not Null versus Archangel and Jump Bots for Archangel, which is apparently what Archangel plays all the time. And, wait. Oh, sorry. Jump Bots, I'm Not Null. And Archangel. Jump Bot Mirror! Oh, uh, well, that's the thing. Dying Freund was right. It's always Pyro Rush with Archangel. And I guess I'm Not Null just wants to respond in kind. Hey, at least Pyros can't burn other Pyros. So... Archangel and or rather, I'm Not Null has that going for them. Still, this is going to be a bit tricky since I'm Not Null does not have their forces at home. So, <laughs> Extractor is dead. Windjander is dead. Commander probably not dead. Two Pyros. Mm, it's a Strike Commander. It should survive. Oh, an Assassin Commander. Wait, it's called Assassin Commander now? Oh, that's the name. Okay, yeah, Strike Commander. Strike Commander. 1200 H. Uh, 39 HP. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, with the Lotus support, that's not a problem. Hey, but maybe the Lotus dies? No, the Lotus does not die. No, the power's not even going for that at all. Just going to the factory for no real reason. I mean, slows it down some, but is there going to be a follow-up? Archangel, what are you doing exactly? Moderator follow-up. Not a bad follow-up. At the same time, though, I'm not null. They've taken the center pretty convincingly. So I'm not null with a fairly large advantage economically and a fairly large advantage positionally. And they have pyros around the constables just in case. Though, admittedly, moderators will counter the pyros, which is probably why Archangel's going for them. On the other hand, moderators are also I'm not Null's choice. For the same reason. That's... No, oh, I probably shouldn't have deleted all that. Anyway, that is a thing. Hmm. Yeah, pyros... So, time for pointing out that Kodachi can, can also not burn pyro, and that is correct. Pyros are immune to fire. They cannot burn. They are coated with Teflon. They're good. I wouldn't recommend licking them afterwards, though. Unless you want to have highly fluoridated lips. And then never feel anything again. Anyway, that aside, accidentally numbing yourself aside, Archangel... I only got the moderators, which not exactly numbs you, but definitely does slow the opponents down to a crawl. At this point, that's not really relevant. I mean, the powers aren't really going for speed, and like I said, I Not All does have their own moderators, so it's kind of even. But if we saw puppies come up, it would be a problem. Although constables do this same thing. More importantly, I'm Not Null has the center of the map. They have pretty much cut the center of the map in half. There is no way Archangel can get to the other side of the map without going through the north side, which they are planning on doing, but at that point, I'm Not Null could easily just go in and start cutting that off, too. And I'm Not Null, they've got radar. They have radar of this much. It stops here. That's kind of it. So, they don't really know what's going on over to the southeast side of the map, but, oops. But at least they do know that there is something. Like, or at least they know that there's nothing over here yet. I kind of wish they would put some radar, radar over the south side of the map, but like I said, they're splitting the map in half, and they got a really good position to start from here. Like, the Lotuses... Okay, the moderators do theoretically counter those, but it's such a canary in the coal mine, you can easily just throw in a bunch of other units in the process, and at that point, you can run the pyros in there and kill the moderators, because the moderators have used up their beam. The moderators take, I think, 10 seconds to reload. Yes, they take exactly 10 seconds to reload. So, not really an option. And also have range that is slightly less than the Lotus. And never mind, they can't even counter the Lotus. The Stinger will. That's good. That'll work. And to be fair, the if the if the moderator does hit the Lotus, the Lotus won't be able to do much. So that is a fair point. But at, if more for the fact that I'm not null doesn't really have a whole lot of 
forces to just rush in with, those moderators wouldn't have much of a chance. Also would help if they didn't stand in the fire of their own dead pyros. But that happens. Sometimes it's hard to remember that there is fire on the ground and your units are walking straight into it, but they are loyal and unquestioning and occasionally suicidal. Not sure which one that was. Doesn't matter, it's dead now. But more units where that came from. I'm not null actually with a slight economic advantage. There are slightly more units for them where that came from than Archangel. Especially since Archangel is actually quite low in energy. They only have these metal these solar collectors right here. Actually, th That's really it? That's really it. That's all they've got. On the other hand, wind generators doing a fine job and eh, 0.2 to 2.5. Still not ideal. Normally you'd put wind generators up here, but it's fine. So far, for now. Well, even up there is kind of not great. 0.4. That's on the edge of viable. The problem is that the wind dies. when the wind dies down, I am not null is going to be screwed. Like, they are... Actually, this is already... Even now, they're already on the edge. They're actually... They're accessing as it is, and that's what the metal... That's the wind generators at nearly full capacity. I would kind of hope I'm not null would build some solar plants just to provide a bit of a stable power structure, but I don't see that happening. Or at least build more power, because they need it. One way or the other. Actually, that's going to be a big thing. Archangel right now does have a production advantage. Or... No, they do. They got 15 metal per second going into the factory. Sorry, 14 metal per second going into the factory. And that's in contrast to 10 without enough energy to actually make it work. Although the constable... Okay, the constable's on there. They got the caretakers. So that will help for... I'm not all for in a little while, but Archangel does have the advantage on that front. However, Archangel still under some threat. Puppy's coming in. Puppy's trying to kill the commander. Not sure why they're trying to kill the commander right now. They're not going to get in. I mean, six of them wasn't a bad idea if there was no other defenses, but the commander's upgraded. They got a machine gun. There's no getting through that. So, I could see a half dozen pyros, maybe. Or the jacks are a good option, too. Or fire... Well, firewalkers would be softening up to get rid of the defenses first, and then run with jacks or run in with puppies or pyros, and then get rid of the commander. That works, too. Actually, come to think of it, puppies are probably the worst thing to use in that situation. But that's not really the point, though. I'm not null. More importantly, is just building up loads of metal. They basically got the entire north side of the map to themselves. I mean, the northeast is going to be contested somewhat, but not much. So ultimately, I'm not null has a massive economic lead. The only downside right now is that I'm not null does not have the energy to work with because they just have wind generators that are currently having a bit of a hard time. This is exactly what I was talking about. The wind is dying down. This is what you don't want because it's, I think, cyclical. I can't remember if it's random or cyclical, but either way, you run out of wind eventually. Sooner or later, the wind dies down. And while both players do have wind and both players are suffering from the lack of wind, one of those players has a bunch of backup solar plants. A lot of backup solar plants, actually. Eight whole backup solar plants. Well, I'm not null, no, they don't. They have a bunch of wind generators that are generating 12 energy total. But yeah, I kind of wish they'd build some more power plants, some more solar plants. Possibly a fusion at this point. They have 35 metal per second. They could get away with it. Or geothermal. Geothermal's right there. Provides a reasonably stable economy. An extra 25. It's a little far away from everything to be useful, but hey, why not? And there's the jack. Even if I mean, all can't have the economy, they still have the units, so they got something. However, at this point, there's their production. That's exactly what they need. Get the production up, use it with the metal, use it with the energy. Not something Archangel's having a problem with either, since they have 20, or, well, 26 metal worth of production apart from the factory. 36 metal including the factory, 46 once the air plant is built. So, overall, Archangel's still in a much better production position. I'm not Null's in a slightly better economic position, metal-wise. But that's it. They have more of the map, but that's not going to help them, because they don't have the units to actually defend that. And that means I'm not null. Probably going to lose a bunch of units. Actually, probably going to lose the entire north side at this point. If Archangel has any radar, they would know. And they don't. They have no idea that I'm not null has expanded basically the entirety of the north side. If they did, probably would have sent a couple of moderators up there just to wipe it all out. Ooh, nice air shot. Gets rid of a jack. Moderators do their job. And Archangel's commander is safe. At the cost of a moderator. Good trade. And actually, now that Archangel's taking the Northeast pretty well, this is... Yes, yeah, definitely going advantage Archangel. I'm not all over. Does go for a fusion plan. There we go. They've got an energy power... They've got a power grid now. They can actually work with this stuff. 
they can make their metal work for them. Because now they have 40 metal per second going into the factory. On, actually, 44 if this worker helps out. Now they can actually take advantage of the territory they've had this entire time. It's still going to be a little bit tricky because there's a lot of metal to work through. And the overdrive comes in as well. So, yeah, this is... I still would recommend another caretaker or just get this constable to help out and do something. Either way, though, I am not Null's gotten their second wind. That's the important thing right now. Puppies are coming in here. They're going to have a tough... Actually, maybe not. Actually, puppies aren't a bad idea. In the sense that they will stop the moderators from doing anything. Not so much if the phoenix gets them first, but the moderators will burn their beams getting rid of puppies. And then the pyro can come in afterwards. But there needs to be more puppies. And I don't see this... Ooh, is this going to great goo in time? Uh, not, no, no, it won't. Just a waste of freak, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. That Stinger doing its job, making sure that I'm Not Null does not get any value off that. However, I'm Not Null is still way ahead now. They have a solid energy economy. They have more than enough metal. They just need another caretaker or two, and they'll be fine. But at the same time, Archangel's in a similar situation. Archangel is only slightly behind economically. They've been producing very efficiently this entire game. They have loads of... They have 4,000 metal worth of moderators. Sorry, 2,000 metal worth of moderators. In total, 3,400, but still... 2,000 up front worth of moderators. Now, I'll grant the Jack will tank the moderators pretty well, and the puppies can distract them. But that's a lot of moderators, and I don't think the puppies are going to distract them. I think they're just, just going in to try to find what they can. But to be fair, if they do manage to get in, and do manage to get the distractions going, then that will work. Of course, that's assuming they actually managed to hit them, deal some damage. Oh, it's so close! I think... Oh, just force fire in the ground right next to them. Because the puppies will just jump. Like, puppies don't explode unless they hit something. So if you force fire the ground, pretty sure it causes them to, like, just pop. Pretty sure they causes them to actually jump and then be fine. Hmm. What's the... What is... That's a good question. What have people done for army value? So right now, I'm Not Null is actually half the army, roughly, and Metal Excess... Metal Excess... That's the entire thing. Like, that's more of it, actually. They've excessed twice more than as much they've accessed more than they've built in terms of metal value at least up to now now at this point it's kind of put over but still they, their army will be twice as much cost value be basically twice as big if they hadn't accessed that metal that is so huge and of course the puppies coming in here are gonna all die i mean a bunch of the distracted moderators that actually did some some of the job that was kind of the point Get in, distract the moderators, force them to retreat somewhat. Unfortunately, no other follow-up force came in. If it was puppies and pyros, or puppies and jacks, puppies and moderators, sure. But it's not happening, and at this point, the north side is also under heavy fire, because... Well, why not? Really. Burn down three metal extractors at basically no cost. Well, cost of a constable, which kind of sucks. That would have rebuilt, but... But that's fine. At any rate, though, I'm Not Null is just not in a good spot right now. I mean, that, that phoenix has oh, destroyed almost everything. There's no easy way to get to the commander. I mean, the commander isn't even really the target. If that dies, it's a bit of a shame, but I don't think it'll necessarily stop the game. And also, the commander is pretty well protected. I don't see that happening. So overall, this is not working out well for I'm Not Null. The one thing I'd say is I'm Not Null really did not take advantage of the power they, of the build power they could have had, and the energy they didn't have. Like, I just really don't understand the use of wind generators on maps where it's less than 0.5 minimum. Like, seriously, if it's less than 0.5 minimum, it's just build solar plants. It's just a better option. Because then there would have been the excess. Then I'm not would have been able to use that metal to build their armies, and would have had a much, much larger army, and probably would have won by now. But, I think that at this point, they're figuring, I'll, they'll just break through something, kill a few phoenixes, maybe maybe get the commander or maybe get some monitors or something, get rid of something around here. I just don't see that happening. Every single assault coming in, like Archangel just has so many advantages economically. And if these characters go down in this assault, which I think they will, that's probably gonna be it. I think that's gonna be game. In fact, everything just going for the factories. Get rid of the factories, why not? There's the airplane plant down. None of the characters going down, mind you. Jumpbot Factory, heavily damaged, but not down yet. But still, Archangel basically just destroyed the main production force coming in here. I mean, they destroyed the air plant. That was all the Swifts. So there's nothing stopping another bombing run coming in to destroy everything. I mean, granted, the factory's been healed, but still. 
there's nothing stopping the Ravens from coming in. There's no Swifts. There are no Hawks. Or what are they called? I can't remember the call now. Raptors. No Raptors. Nothing. So I don't... Anyway. Where was I? Oh, yeah, right. So with that, yeah, Archangels got enough of an army they can just spread, as they're doing right now. They've taken on the north side. They have the Air Force to just wipe out the production. Bit of a shame for them they missed the Caretakers, because if they'd taken those out, then it would have been a very different story. But they didn't, so... There's still some hope for I'm Not Null, even though at this point there really, really isn't. I'm Not Null had north side, and they, like I said, it's all a matter of excess. Like, metal you get is of no use if you're not using it to produce units. If you're using it just to have in storage, or if you're excessing, then it doesn't help you at all. And that's the key thing. And that's the thing that I'm Not Null didn't do, or didn't really take into account, is that they just could not do anything with what they had because they didn't have the energy. They e stalled. Archangel, like, it was a slower start on their part. The power rush didn't really work out. And they lost center control early on. But at this point, it's just nothing's being done to counter these moderators. Like I said, the puppies, I know why they're being used. It, use, it forces the moderators to reload. It's just not really helping. I mean, there's no follow-up force. That's the thing. You have to have a follow-up force if you're going to do that. And overall, like, this game... This game is over. Like, let's, let's be honest. I'm not null. I don't see any way to have this. <sighs> it's just Archangel should go for Firewalkers or go for Bombers or something. I mean, it's just in the chat. Firewalker time. Actually, Firewalkers would work well as the moderators as well if, if I'm not null wanted to wipe them out. But at this point, it's just get the bombing run in. Wipe out the factories. Put a stop... Like... Just end it. Nope, the Raven's not finding it. Get rid of the caretakers, though, so that'll slow things down. But not enough, and it looks like that. Okay, there's sad face. I, is that GG? I think that's GG. I think that I think it's I don't know saying. You know what? This is gun. This is done. This is game. Likely to throw in the towel here. And actually, no. Okay, I'm not know did win the first battle. They they managed to deflect the pyro rush no problem, and they did take the center pretty early on. I'm not sure they... Maybe they didn't win any battles, but they certainly had a strong strategic position. The downside was they didn't capitalize on that strong strategic position. Also, they never had an army value advantage. That didn't help either. But yeah, they never capitalized on that because, like, from the beginning, they were accessing. They had a massive metal income advantage. That just became a metal excess. Look, metal produced. Massive advantage. Metal used. Always below. So... That's what happens when you excess. I can't believe that. Like, 35,000 excess. And their army value at the end is 150. I mean, the army value at the time was 3,000. Like, if you look at that, they would have had that massive army value advantage at that point. That was the key thing to me. I'm not... Okay, I'm so, I guess bored is the wrong word. It's like... Well, okay, maybe a little bit. I don't want to be bored. I, that's that's bad show. That, that's, that's put on the bad show. I don't want to put on a bad show. Let's put on a good show. Got another request coming here, here that came during the match. Yes, if you can enter, I see it. Sparkles versus Manu 12 on Wanderlust will be the next game. Probably the last one for today. That'll also be Wanderlust, though. So yeah, Sparkles versus Manu 12 on Wanderlust. I'm guessing this is a higher level game, so probably we're going to see some tanks. I would guess. Just to, Oh, I didn't even... Wow, I didn't have this m map thing right. Darn it. Well, anyway, stay tuned. Be back in a sec. <sighs> Darn it.